Hi, thanks so much for joining me here today on my channel where we are going to create a look that's going to help me get over my FOMO for the Frosted Flakes collab with Glam Light. Yes, have you seen that palette? Have you seen some of the looks that have been coming across Instagram? Oh my god, I'm so like inspired suddenly by that color story. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to just dupe the vibes from my stash. I'm playing with some of my palettes to dupe the vibe. So if that sounds like something you want to see, just keep watching. Today, I am really excited to play with some new shades in my Circle Loco. I'm going to be dipping into some of these oranges and the blue, which I have used the blue before, but maybe even, you know, some of these like more golden colors. Oh, yeah, um, I think the packaging is so cute and the color story is very fun and inspiring but it's just not a color story that i feel like i need a whole palette for i've seen a lot of like fun videos and looks on instagram come across that have been you know almost making me want to buy the palette but i'm trying really hard to not add a bunch of new palettes to my collection right now i have a ton of palettes if you've seen my eyeshadow palette collection you already know i don't need any more eyeshadow palettes in my life right now if you haven't seen that video i'll be sure to leave that down below in case you're interested anyhow I'm going to get some use out of my Circle Loco today. This is my absolute favorite Natasha Denona palette. Yeah. This is the palette that got me into playing with color. But there are some shades that I've never played with before, especially these oranges. I've never used these oranges. I've never even touched them. Or the gold. <laughs> never touched them. You can see they are brand new. Brand new. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Zendo palette. Okay, the Zendo palette I think is a great palette for this look. I might even need to pull into, now I swear, I'm not trying to bust a flex or nothing like that, okay? I'm just trying to get some use out of my palettes. <sighs> Think I'm gonna have to start with these yeah so let's go in to the crease with one of these really pretty blue just a small little fluffy natural hair bristle brush and I am gonna go into I can't see I don't know oh F I'm struggling here girl this blue right here this like I'm gonna go into this blue right here. I've played with it before. It's got some brush marks in there. I'm getting a little nervous. This is not a color combination that I usually work on. So I am just gonna see what happens. Let's just, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna have a little fun. So if it looks crazy and if it doesn't turn out right, I'm still gonna post the video. So wish me luck. I hope it turns out good. Here we go. Oh my God, that's a beautiful blue. Oh, look at that. What well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a shader, a fluffy, a little fluffy shader. This is the Rep Row 2. I'm gonna go into the Zendo palette and I am going to use this beautiful shimmering blue all over my lid. I've seen some really fun videos on this palette, on this collab, but you know, I really am trying hard to not buy any new palettes right now. So I can't do that right now. I don't I don't need an orange and blue palette anyway. That don't mean I don't want to play with the colors. I can play with the colors. I'm gonna take this little brush that is just like a teeny teeny tiniest little detailed shader. Okay, this color is no joke, okay? Here we go. Ooh, look at that blue. You see that deep blue? Okay, that's a little fun. Oh, that blue is just beautiful. Gonna just get a little creative. This is where we're at so far, and honestly, 
I would put in a silver inner corner and be fine with this look, but we are going to do the orange. So let me get my Works Up Plus in cream, which is also in my project pan. I'm gonna take this, um, I don't know what this is. This is an old Morphe brush that I have. It's like just like a little synthetic pointed fat pencil, and I'm just gonna get into this cream pot liner here like i have seen people use this as an eye base but oh it's very creamy i'm gonna take my little like a fluffy pointed blender oh god what am i gonna use i'm going with the matte first touch Ooh. i'm feeling kind of adventurous i'm not gonna lie orange eyeshadow isn't really my thing it's not quite as bright as I thought it was going to be. I got a little everywhere, so I'm going to try to be more careful in the other eye. She dusty and powdery. <laughs> I overloaded my brush. That's what it is. And this is just what I used to put my eye base on. I'm just going to try to clean up a little bit of this like powdery kick up. Oh, girl. I like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. It is not flattering to have deep dark orange. I thought it was going to be brighter, but let's, let's work on it. We're not finished. I'm going to take this fat pen. I'm going to take this gold, this shimmer gold, because I need something bright in the corner. I'm going to go with this yellow. First time I've ever touched this color. And I'm going to put that right there and just give it like a little golden inner corner pop to catch the light inside that orange. I don't know if I like that either. It's kind of disgusting. It looks like I have a fucking disease. <laughs> We're going to play off the orange that I don't like there in the corner. See the difference? See the brightness and then the darkness? I don't know. I don't like the orange. Not on me. Not like that. A little bit of a green hue, which is kind of fun. We'll call that the frosted flake part. I'm gonna take this shimmery orange. I feel like this shimmery orange is gonna be brighter. And I'm gonna take this detailed pencil. First time I've ever touched this shade. Tapping off. We're gonna do it, girl. We're about to get crazy. We're getting crazy. I like this shimmer orange. I'm gonna use that same orange. Taking a flat definer with the orange right here. I'm gonna put this everywhere. I'm going to put this all up in here. That's it. That's it right there, girl. I think I've got this where I want it. Maybe we need to try to blend it out a little bit. <laughs> here. On a teeny, 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 tiny little pencil. I don't know where I'm, I'm putting this. I'm going to put this right here just to see what, what happens. I really like the way that looks. Okay. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's a little dramatic, but I feel like um, we're going to use this shade here in the Zendo. This is huge. I'm just going to commit to it now because we're here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's not the shade, sis. All right, that, that, shade ain't, that shade ain't it. Let me go back in the circle, logo. This one, the one in the very center. I was able to save it. All right, so I feel like my blush isn't orange enough. This is a great time to go into my Shop My Stash palette. I might not be able to use this that much longer, quite frankly, because, you know, I have had it a really long time. I love it so much. It's beautiful. Let's orange up this cheek to match the eye. We're going for a whole vibe now. We're here. We're going to do it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, I feel like that has given me summer golden vibes. I am having so much fun using a bunch of my products. 
Like these are all things that I love and that I feel like I don't get enough use out of just because I do have so much stuff. Sometimes it's fun to just like get into your, your stash and get a little creative. Works at plus in black. This stuff is so creamy. I love it so much. So easy to do a wing liner. And as long as you mess with it before it sets, like you have a minute with it, you know? Which I fully appreciate. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna double stack these two today. Start off with the green. We're feeling dramatic today. I mean, that Frosted Flakes palette is like a dramatic palette. It's blue and orange, so like, you better be ready to play if you get that one. Although it does have a couple of like neutral tones that you can make like a toned down look out of it for sure. But still, it's a fun palette. That's the eye look. <laughs> Did I overline? <laughs> Maybe a tad. Let's not discuss it. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. Just for fun. <laughs> Let me know what you think of it down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Fun to just like get into your, whoa. <laughs> get into 